Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design an umbrella in Kitsia V5. In the whole tutorial series you'll be working with part design, generator shape design, material editor and a little bit of wireframe and surface design. And you could see the completed design right here. And uh, let me switch back to the work in progress. And uh, this is where we are right now. Now I could uh, put some bobs here and here. So to do that, to zoom in, maybe you could select this point and go for a point which is uh, the Z of 2, maybe 1 will do. Now select that point and then go for surfaces and input a sphere of radius 2, radius 1, otherwise it would go inside the umbrella. And that's it. Mm, there's a lot of uh, planes there. So let's hide it off. Mm, seems like a lot of software is running on the background. Makes the systems kind of slow. Select all these planes right here. Go for hide. And uh, select the plane here and the plane here and again hide it All right. now you could also hide this and you can see that uh, it's really very 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 small so what you could do next is to increase this to maybe 2 and go for the sphere specific specification and increase this to 2 and that makes it a little, little big okay now it's cute now you could uh, give color for the sphere by going for material editor and going for the paintings and give a red color for the sphere okay that looks good you could hide the point and uh, again give similar bobs here so before doing that let me give a color for our edge fillet just make sure that you're joining this surface and the surface together and now together you can give a color for our handle that must be a dark green color pastel green okay now you could give another steel color for a steel could be given on the handle now the other one goes off so you don't have to worry just select the join 5 and define it and work object and that comes back so again there is uh, some bobs to be created which is remaining and I can show that to you in my next part of the tutorial and that's it for this one and if you have any doubts you can write to me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com and if you have any doubts on this particular part you can comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned.